watching gong shows you like watching all the bros get down get crazy with it today is the day for that we got an absolutely massive group We've got nine boys out here on the trails with us today a couple of our buddies and a couple of new guys we have never met before and we are in for one hell of an adventure what is up welcome to the channel for today's video we have an absolute squad of riders oh well it looks like jasper's already got the first crash out of the way should be a fun day on the woods today, boys. So we got a couple local trails here to get us warmed up, and then we come around the corner here to a dead stop. Whoa! Oh, sorry. You're good, bud. Yeah, it's Jasper. Yep. So for today's ride, we don't exactly have any set plans. We're just gonna see where the day ends up taking us. And when we got a group of boys like this out, you know it's always gonna get into some good stuff. So here we are chasing down our good buddy that we've been hanging out with and riding with more frequently, Justin. He's got that 23 KTM XCW 300. Man, he puts that bike through the absolute ringer. That bike, oh man, it's gone upside down quite a few times, but he's a good show, good guy to go riding out with. Been enjoying getting out with him lately. And uh, it's always good to get some new buddies to go out riding with and you end up meeting some more new buddies and more friends, more riding. Gotta love it, doesn't get much better than that. call this trail at all so at least I'm seeing I think one new trail quite excited to see where we do end up for the day for this big of a riders group now there is some pros and cons to riding with the huge riders group for the one first thing is obviously you're gonna have a bunch of boys hitting a bunch of things getting everyone all hyped up and excited so you get guys taking some risks that sometimes they would not take now unfortunately the negative to riding with this big of a group is you're usually having to wait up for people a lot and making sure people uh, see which direction you're going through each intersection so no one's getting left behind. Now with today's group, luckily everyone here is a fairly decently skilled rider so we're not doing a lot of waiting up. It's more so making sure that people aren't missing the turns because not everyone here is a local and knows the area as well as I do. Justin we have such a large group today that it's like you got to kind of wait up for people so they don't miss the turn although I know where I'm at and I can always get out of the woods seems like a few of these guys have never been here I don't know where they're going so don't want to really lose buddy yeah it's quite overgrown it's hard to see where the trail exactly goes stuffed her. Now another thing that I always find happening when I mean, we're riding with these huge groups and we're always trying to keep a really fast pace trying to rip through these trails is that man I get some terrible death grip. I get some serious hand cramping I'm trying to keep up with these boys so it's always like if I can catch a break stretch out the fingers I'll take it. Well, that was nasty. All right keep our composure here. Nice and relaxed my guy. hill climbs here it's like trying to 
you trying to stay on throttle, keep your momentum going, but I also don't want to get too close to the rider in front of you in case they stop and then you have to stop. I'd rather be able to like give them a second to get traction again to fire off. So you're trying to keep that happy medium distance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was sketchy. My boot got caught in my peg there. Now, if any of you guys have any peg recommendations, I'd be loving to hear what you guys have to say down below in the comment section below. My there, you might as well hit like and click subscribe while you're here. But we're still rocking these OEM pegs and they are completely worn out at this point. And uh, I definitely need something that's got way more aggressive pegs, way sharper pegs on it to actually keep my boots locked in. I find my boots are sliding around quite a lot on these pegs. They're just not biting into my boots whatsoever. And as you guys can see, we are in some tight and twisty wooded forest in here. So having some good control over the bike is gonna be crucial. So having those freaking bare naked pegs are not helping me out whatsoever here. Now, unfortunately, we do make our first crucial mistake of the day here on this rock obstacle that kind of wears out some of our energy, which is not what we want to be doing. on his Sherco 300 two-stroke. He's a super skilled rider, super fun guy to get out riding with, but looks like he didn't quite take the right line up this rock face, so we'll just sneak up here. And we got a couple sketchy little descents here where you just kinda gotta commit to it and roll. I think we're down to seven riders already. I think we've lost two. And we might lose one more here. Yeah, buddy. first viewpoint for the day unfortunately there's not a whole lot of a view it is pretty overcasty and foggy it is winter time so that's kind of somewhat to be expected here for on the wet coast but still a great day out with the boys let's venture on all right here comes the downstairs of doom now if you don't get this one right you're going for one hell of a trip to the bottom so it's just super greasy it's slightly off camber as well 
and this rock is just super slicked up. So just don't mess it up, do it right. Yep. It rolls out at the bottom. Man, out of all the shit I do on a bike, that's the scariest shit for me. It's going down here. All right, now for the stairs of doom, we are off into our next section of trail here. This one is one hell of a fun trail. It's gonna be a doozy, uh, it's gonna be challenging. This one's got a lot of jankiness to it, which you know we love some good jank, and this bike takes a keen to it, so we're in the perfect place with the perfect bike. Let's get after it. All right, well, we were waiting for the one guy to try and catch up, but also ain't gonna get left behind forever. <laughs> oh, so fucking close. She is slicked up today, boys. second fumble of the day now this one honestly exhausts me quite a bit holding the bike up here after spilling the beans i did not want to drop off backwards off this lip of course camera never does it justice but i did not want to fall backwards it's a good four foot wall son of a she's slick yeah. my name's justin nice to meet you <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, there goes my first fumble of the day. God damn it. Camera died right as I crashed there. Went over the handlebars. I gotta swap a battery here in a sec. Yeah, unfortunately for me, we did completely miss that crash. That was definitely one of the better crashes of the day. Front end went into a pocket and I went over the bars straight onto my back into the woods. But. At least I didn't land on anything serious that was going to hurt me, so all is good. That was dumb. straight over the bars on the one downhill. Hold up, Aaron. I gotta do a battery. I just missed that. Front end just went right into a pocket, straight over the bars. All right, well, we lost another rider. He's gone. Whoa. I don't know how many we're down to, but I think we lost two and then found two. but that's all right. At least now we're not waiting on them, so. I'm pissed I missed that crash though. I literally, the front wheel just stoved in right over the handlebars. Thankfully bike took it like a champ. Yeah, uh, traction is very hit or miss today. The rock's pretty greasy. Roots are definitely greasy. Not a lot of traction. Yeah, over the last couple weeks, it's been practically raining every single day. We just caught a little bit of a break here while we're out riding for the day, which is much appreciated. Gotta watch out the front brake heavily after already going over the bars. Can't believe the GoPro died literally 
exactly when I crashed. I wonder if I got any of it or if it literally died right before it. I got a feeling it died right before, which sucks. That's okay, I'm sure there'll be plenty more crashes. Gotta be so careful on that front brake today. There goes Jasper, he already crashed now. Yeah, it's just, if you're trying to push today, ride fast, it is tricky. Everything's so snotty. Makes it a challenge for sure. It's been a long time since I've been in here. for me today boys you know probably end up taking a couple but on that one oh yep those diagonal trees are an sob today god i love this bike now sometimes i do get you guys asking me why i haven't like upgraded to another bike bought the 300 rr or the race edition or some other big 300 two stroke and honestly this bike is just so freaking good boys i'll tell you this is just this bike is so perfect for this kind of terrain and this kind of riding and my style of riding i just love this bike it does everything i always ask of it it's easy to throw around lightweight good power the perfect amount of power it's never trying to kill you it doesn't really wear you out so that's probably one of my favorite parts about this bike is it just isn't that exhausting to ride compared to a full-blown 302 stroke with a big pipe on it um, but just no complaints about this bike honestly i picture myself keeping this bike for a long time and continuing to ride it for at least the next couple of years honestly it's just so freaking awesome on this bike and it has never given me an issue once i'm still running a lot of just the oem stock stuff i've never really replaced any any part of any of the bike all i've done is a top end in it and that was just out of peace of mind that i didn't want to cause any potential damage to the bike by running it too long but honestly when i took that piston out she was still looking pretty holy smokes boys That kind of sucks. What? Oh no! Son of a bitch. Well, that's unfortunate for Justin. Snapped his shifter right off again. Good old Chinesium stuff. Alright, now we're into the little tricky bit here. What a group of boys good group of boys hopefully they don't just chew the crap out of this section up here because it's already chewed up rivers are flowing now if you are in one of these big riding groups try and avoid being in the back because if someone gets stuck and they dig some holes you're going to be the one that's riding through them really ain't that much better things out here than in the woods with the boys for the day pile up. Carnage City. <laughs> Damn. 
damn it. Holy All I can say is what a freaking save, buddy. Oh my God. Yep, stuff that one good. Yep, one minute you're on the trail looking at the scenery. Next minute you're in the scenery looking at the trail. I might have to go back. Yeah. Unlucky, buddy. Oh yeah, I can take you out if you need. Oh, that was a pretty nasty little crash there for Justin. Like I said, these fucking logs, man. That was a pretty hard bail. I just missed that on the camera, but he was in third gear ripping and just hit one of those diagonal logs and dropped them right in the drink. exact situation I was talking about earlier in the video when you're just carrying too much momentum and you come up on someone who stopped in the middle of the trail and it screws you over. Alright and then after hitting to this main road Justin was on his way and we're into our next trail with a couple riders less. After that nasty crash, falling right into the puddle, having no shifter, Justin called it. So we're down another rider, I think we're down to six. Started with nine. We got a little bit of roadblock, boys. I got the whole crew on there. I'll let them do it. I built enough trails. I'll let them cut this one up so they can <laughs> they can work on this one. I'll let them have it. No problem. <laughs> Timber. Okay. Got that tree out of the way. Now, if you guys are ever riding in the West Coast, it's pretty handy to always carry one of those little foldy saws in your backpack because it's a matter of time until you run into an impassable tree in the middle of the trail and you got to cut it out or cut a way around it. Got no bite. Got to hit all those uphills today with some mad speed. Bit of a nasty hole there. Beautiful start to the trail. Jasper on his lips already. Yeah, 
Yeah, just launch her. Ho ho! Now I've gone, been through this rodeo once or twice before. Started with nine boys, down to six. What an adventure of a day riding it has been, boys. It's been a whole lot of fun. We'll see what other kind of mischief we get up to. We got one battery left for the GoPro, so let's see what we can make do. Got 70% left on it, so let's see what happens. Okay, well, it looks like we're down to four riders now. What an interesting day. That's how it always is, though, with the big group rides. Start out with a bunch of people, end the day with almost no one, because odds are people are going to crash, they're going to get tired, break parts and then that's it numbers start dwindling <laughs> we lost more than 50 percent of our group that's all right it's been an adventure that's for sure ah! we're on a flow trail here but it's also super overgrown ah! can see a thing. Right off. Now I'm kind of stuck. And it's kind of in the air in the front. Oh shit. Oh man. Oh, thank God for Jasper coming to the rescue. Got pretty f in there. Let the suffering continue. Thought I was getting a break, but... 12 seconds and we're into the next one. Can't quite recall where we are. I'm trying to see if I can remember this trail or not. Can't quite recall it. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that hit was pretty nasty, dude. That was pretty impressive. 
A little beyond my pay grade for the day. Oh boy. And unfortunately, here comes my fatal crash of the day. One that takes me out. I'm still feeling it two weeks later. That sucked. Oh, I crushed my thumb good. 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 Oh, I crushed my fing hand. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Oh. an idiot oh my thumb hurts so bad oh it hurts so bad right now all the way to the bike landed on my thumb on the end of the oh that bad that was bad oh my thumb my thumb my thumb oh stupid challenges don't end here Oh, I can't ride. Ah. Nice. Now here we go. Holy smokes, my thumb is pounding right now. Oh, I can just feel my heartbeat in my thumb it does not feel good it does not feel good hand guards man blessing and a curse uh, yeah i'll load my gps i know where i'm going anyways so uh, Take care, man. that was fun always a good adventure boys oh my thumb okay well, that's a wrap for me boys i can't even hold the handlebar Oh, my thumb's killing me right now. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure down below, click that like button, click subscribe for more, and uh, send me your hopes and dreams and prayers because goddamn, my hands gonna be so jacked up tomorrow. Uh, peace out, boys.